Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. Have you ever been in a situation where you've had a bottle of wine and some is left over? Because either you were cooking with it or maybe you, maybe you had a party and you weren't really wanting to finish it off. You want to save it for the next morning, right? I have a little product here that we're going to test out to see if it can help save our wine so we can have some the next day. It's the Pro IMB Wine Stopper and Saver, right? And what it does is it pumps some of the air out and has some stoppers so we can put this in the refrigerator and enjoy the rest of the wine the next day. So join me as we do a product test and review of the Pro IMB Wine Saver and Stopper. So what we get when we order the Pro IMB Wine Stopper is it comes in this little box and it has a little instruction guide. They have a website, proimb.com. It's the wine saver pump with two bottle stoppers. It tells you the features. It's stainless steel. It has a plastic vacuum bottle stoppers and then the pump, right? It's suitable for um, a bottle, a regular wine bottle, right? Um, basically, you get an airtight... Um, preservation on your wine, right? And it helps keep it nice and tasty. It also is suitable for sparkling wines as well, right? And this shows you how to use it. So basically what you do is you get two stoppers here for two bottles of wine and you get the pumper. And basically this goes on your bottle of wine. This goes on here and we're going to pump the air out, right? You can hear it, sounds pretty good. So let's try this out. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank Pro IMB for sending me the wine stopper. We're going to be using my favorite glasses here. These are more like champagne glasses, but I love these things. I actually got these things on a massive sale. They were on the clearance rack at Macy's years ago. They're Waterford glasses. And actually the day that I got these, the artist who created these glasses was there autographing, etching and autographing um, anything that you buy. And he happened to have two pieces that were on the clearance rack. So these were hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but I got them for like 30 bucks and they're autographed. So I, am, I was so happy about these and um, I couldn't believe the price. These two glasses were probably $400 and I paid like 30 bucks for them, right? So we are going to use these on this special occasion because it is the holidays. And we're just going to go ahead and open this very fabulous bottle of wine that Eric brought for me. No comment on that, right? And we're just going to go ahead and use our little wine thing here. Eric's sitting back there wondering if I can actually open this thing. I got news for you. I'm a California girl. I can open some wine, right? There you go. Wow. Ooh. So let's go ahead and pour us a little glass of wine here. Not exactly the right cup for this kind of wine, but it is time to celebrate, right? And we're going to go ahead and have a sniff of this. This is some Chardonnay, high quality, right? Mondavi from his Woodbridge line. Uh, what about me? Oh, Eric says he wants a glass too. Yeah. I won't give him too much because he might end up down. Yeah, I'm the cameraman. I'll hold it too thick. Yeah, I don't want him messing with my camera here. So let's have a sh drink. Cheers, everybody. Hope you had a great um, Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year, because 2016 is going to be great, right? So let's taste. Hmm, not bad. Not fabulous, but not bad. Pretty good just drinking wine, right? So we've had our party, and the party's over, and we've toasted, right? 
Maybe we've had a little bit of champagne and everybody's left for the evening. And you look over and you're like, look at this. I have almost two thirds of a bottle of wine left over here. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, oh, we'll just go ahead for it, right? But if we've had too many or we're just not wanting to do that, we might want to save this over for, if it's champagne, we might have want to have a little champagne brunch um, the next morning for New Year's Day. And we don't want to um, lose out on this fine bottle of wine here, right? So we're going to use our little wine stopper. So we're going to take the end here. We're going to put it on our bottle and we're going to put the pump on here and we're just going to pump the air out. Cool. We've drawn the air out and the stoppers on here. So we can go ahead and put this wine in the refrigerator or champagne and save it over for tomorrow. We can have a little champagne brunch or we can have some wine for breakfast, right? Since we are on vacation, we're allowed to do that, right? Next time you want to tap into the bottle, how do you access it again? So let's just play that this is the next morning. I've got wine. I want to use it. Or maybe I'm cooking something. How do I, how do I take this off? Simple. You just grasp it with your fingers and... Ooh, did you hear that? That's what it does. That's all the woohoo. So that tells you it worked. Now you are liberated to help yourself to some of the grape juice, right? Cheers. Um, so I say the Pro IMB Wine Stopper and Saver is a big thumbs up. Um, it's really inexpensive. If you're interested in taking a look at this, I'll put a link down in the description um, to Amazon so you can look for yourself. Um, I just want to take this opportunity once again to say thank you very much for all your support over this last year with Amy Learns to Cook. Me and Eric, we really love doing the videos. They're a lot of fun and we have a lot of great things coming up in the next year. If you're interested in joining us, please subscribe below and leave a like and a comment and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook. Cheers. I'm just here for the wine. It's Christmas time in the city. Ring-a-ding. Hear them drink? Hear them ring. Yeah, thanks, Woodbridge. That's good wine right there, that's good wine. Ah, look at that. Beautiful bouquet. Mm. Ah, nice finish. Ah, now this, this is a beverage. Yippee. Eric's got himself a whole bunch of wine that wouldn't be considered drinkable in any normal circles. And he's going to do a taste test for New Year's. So think about all the um, cheap wine you ever did think of, and Eric's got a big old stash of it. Mad Dog 2020, sis. He's going to break it out and have a good old time. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.